Welcome everyone, this is Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to change out your GPS module on your DJI Spark drone. To get started, we're going to flip it over, pull the battery out, pulling these two tabs, place that to the side. Now, we're going to want to grab our hex or a T7 will work if you're careful with these bolts. And these two metal ones will have a little bit of glue in them. They have it there just for security purposes, but if your warranty is already gone, then you might as well do this repair yourself. Easy way to get that out, you just grab some tweezers, just pop them in there, and you can pull it out. I've already removed these two, but very simple task. Now you have six screws to remove, one, two, three, four, and then five, six right by the camera here. There's one on this side, one on that side. So we go ahead and pop those out. Just want to let you guys know if you need any parts or tools that I'm going to use in this repair video, links will be down below. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this repair yourself, you can always send it into our repair center and we can do this repair for you. So flip it over now once those six screws are out, pop this cover open. You're going to want to grab your pry tool and the pry tool will have a, a thinner end and a thicker end. I like to use the thicker, just gives you a little bit more room to move and just work it under there. A little bit of pressure, bam, your cover pops off. Place that to the side. Now, this is your GPS module here. It is held in with four Phillips. I'll be using my 1.5 millimeter. A two millimeter will also work, so either one you have laying around will get the job done. So. Just take these four screws out. Now we have one ribbon right here. So we just carefully grab our pry tool. For this I'll use the thinner end and work under it. Pop it off carefully. Put it to the side. Lift your module up. Then place it to the side. We grab our new to us module. Make sure you position it properly so that the ribbon connection will be where the ribbon was. And the, the screw holes will align. If they don't, flip it over. Now we'll just put those four screws back in. I like to not tighten them all the way just yet. Just if I need to move it around to align this into place. And then once I have all four screws in, I will just go ahead and torque them all down to spec which you don't want to over tighten, you want to be careful. They do not need very much torque. Just once they stop, that's basically it. Just carefully with light pressure, go until they stop. Give it one little security churn. It won't even be a full churn, not even a quarter. Just barely, just enough, because you don't want, do not want to strip these out. Now, we just align our ribbon. You'll hear the click when it's in. Now we'll grab our cover once again, and we want to make sure this is in place like that. Just kind of hold it up. And I start from the front. There's these two tabs right here. There we go. There's two tabs. You kind of want to work them in first, and then it's all just held on in clips. So just work your way around, clip that side, Clip this side. Now, before you clip the last little bit, you just adjust the this little rubber piece. Make sure it's in its slot, and we finish with the last two clicks. Then just do a quick once over. Make sure all the clips are in. Flip it back over, and we had grabbed the screws we had from earlier, and just put them back into their place. Again, be mindful of your torque here because you're screwing into plastic and you would not want to strip that plastic out. So just be mindful once it stops and it seats. Give her, I don't know, eighth of a turn I'd say about roughly there. You just kind of feel it out. Just be mindful, don't over torque because then you'll just be buying more parts. Now we could just click that cover back into place, put our battery in, 
flip it over, and we're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Again, any questions, comments down below, we'll answer them. If you don't feel comfortable with this repair, or need any parts or tools we used if you want to repair this yourself, go ahead, links in the description below for everything. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a phenomenal day.